My presentation is blockchain and the future of social media. So I used to be a computer science major, and I'm also an MDA major, and I know a lot about technology, and I've studied a lot about programming and kind of the internet and IT stuff. And uh, one of the most interesting subjects for me is blockchain. And I also love studying social media. I've taken a couple of communications classes, so I thought I'd uh, blend the two topics together into one. So, all right, so I want to talk about how blockchain will influence the internet. So, best way to get started off with that is by talking about what's wrong with the current internet. Um, well, I mean, the biggest problem is our privacy. We don't know where our data is going and who's controlling it, who's looking at it, who's selling it, who's buying it. Um, data is stored in server farms. Um, if it's on a single machine, it's a very easy point of failure. Uh, there's a lot of data loss that takes place in those server farms. Uh, they're expensive and power hungry, constant outages. And uh, there's not really much in the way of backup, depending on uh, the company and the, the website. So let's talk about what blockchain is. This is a very summed up, very dumbed down version of this, but um, it's basically just a method to distribute information across the internet. Um, instead of storing a file on a single computer, you store a file on a million different computers all over the world. And it's peer-to-peer, -peer, so it's kind of run by, it's run by everybody instead of one company. Um, this eliminates the need for servers, and it also eliminates the ability to socially tamper with, uh, with electronics in person. Like, so no one can steal the hard drive and run away. And there's a lot of new economic opportunities involved in this too. So uh, what can we use it for? Right now it's really popular for uh, financing, um, borrowing, lending, um, sending direct payments to people without a middleman. Um, blockchain is also very useful for file storage. There's a service called Storage, which allows you to store files on a blockchain. And uh, it'll basically just split your file up into a million different pieces and send it all over the planet. And uh, you can retrieve it whenever you need to, and it's extremely secure. And um, proof of ownership, or a non-fungible token. Um, which we call NFTs, which you've probably heard about. Uh, it's a big buzzword on social media right now. So Ethereum is the big player in this space. They have the biggest network. And it has its problems, but it is a quickly evolving network that is being run by a pretty large team of people. And uh, it has a pretty good user base. And I want to talk about how some of this technology can be used with social media. And although this technology could be used in a variety of different ways, social media is a great way for this technology to grow. Um, you can tip creators or individuals directly without giving a cut to anyone um, or having your data sent off to someone. Like if you send someone uh, something through Cash App, you know, they're going to track your spending habits and all that. Um, you're, we're able to verify the authenticity of information through social media. Um, through the ledger, we can see who posted what with proof. Um, it's very easy to verify identities through a blockchain because it, it just doesn't lie. There's no way you can tamper with it. Um, it's... It's a system that is run by the people, which is great for social media because that is a for the people type of um, social media platforms are for the people. And uh, I think uh, voting is a great thing you can do on a blockchain as well, um, which is something that would take place on social media. And although we haven't really seen how that would take place yet, um, Voting would be a really cool thing you could do with blockchain securely. And then um, there wouldn't be a need for ads because uh, it wouldn't have to be, it would be run on a, on a blockchain network and it wouldn't need to be 
financed by a, uh, by a company or a corporation in order to run the network. So uh, let's talk a little bit more about tipping. So we're able to tip people directly, and by that I mean like it would be the equivalent to handing someone a dollar bill and saying, here, have this. There's no, like, there's no person in the middle who grabs the dollar and goes, hmm, that's a dollar, and then, you know, hands it off. Or, you know, takes a chunk of it, or, you know, tells someone else that you sent someone else a dollar. It's just very secure. And uh, I think the biggest part is privacy, is people just want to uh, be able to make private exchange, um, very private um, e-commerce online, which is something that we're doing more often in social media now. So um, blockchain does have quite a few issues at the current moment. Um, on the Ethereum network, they're having difficulty upgrading to a more eco-friendly uh, model, um, but they are working on it. <clears throat> there are better networks that are better than Ethereum, but uh, they don't have enough exposure to get any actual real-world usage out of them, and uh, they don't have investors and very high user bases, which makes them less useful. They use a uh, <clears throat> the current Ethereum network uses a proof-of-work model, which is very um, resource-intensive, and the fees are outrageous, so it's not very realistic to use it at the current moment. But it is very cool nonetheless. And uh, we, I, I personally think that Ethereum is the best network to, to do something like this on, simply just because it has a high user base, it has the brand name, People already are established with this network and have been using it for years. They have an amazing team of developers. Their mission is eco-friendly and they do have a path forward um, to solve the problem. And uh, it has the most features and it has um, the ability to do smart contracts, which is important for what we're talking about here. And uh, it's very well documented for developers. And uh, every, everyone's already using it, so there's just so many projects on this network already. And you can actually, there's actually already a social media site that is using the Ethereum network. Can't quite remember what it's called. But, um, so how this is already taking shape. Um, well, you see a lot of companies promoting this already, like uh, Twitter with their uh, NFT profile pictures, although I'm not the biggest fan of the implementation with uh, that technology but um, I mean it's it's exposure nonetheless whether it's good or bad um, crypto networks are going to continue to get features and they're going to have more and more utility over time um, you see a lot of nfts being traded over social media I am not really the I'm not really sure how I feel about um, digital art being traded as NFTs, I, I think it'd be more useful for like real estate or you know proof of ownership of a belonging, not so much uh, art. It just seems like a kind of a it just seems like an easy way to get scammed. Um, but I do th I overall I do think NFTs can be useful, and I mean there's incentives for everybody to use this technology in the long run. So it just doesn't make any sense that it wouldn't be used. And uh, <laughs> why I care about this so much. I've been uh, following this story since about 2017, um, when I first started messing around with the technology myself. And uh, it's just been steadily growing since then. Um, it's becoming more and more useful over time. It's so much more useful now than it's ever been. And uh, it's just, there's just a lot of opportunity for everyone. Um, especially individuals who are looking to start a business. And uh, this is an internet that I personally believe in. And uh, thank you. And I, I hope that you check out um, some blockchain re related products. And uh, if you see uh, blockchain being used on the internet in the future, maybe you'll, uh, you'll think of my presentation. <laughs> thank you.